John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Today is April 13th, 2006. We're at the UMass Cold Spring Orchard. Uh, we've been planting apple trees. Uh, you get them in the ground early and it's dry. That's a great thing to do. Um, today, quickly, I thought I'd show you just some basics on planting apple trees to make sure we're all in the same wavelength. Uh, one thing I like to do is after I receive the trees, uh, soak them in a bucket for 24 hours. Um, this happens to be a snack, snappy mac from Stark Brothers Nursery on Bud 9 rootstock. Of course, you need to know where the graft union is on the tree. Um, your rootstock, in this case, uh, Bud 9, and then your cyan. Uh, here we've got snappy mac, like I mentioned, and you need to be clear where this bud union is because when you plant a tree, um, it's important that we, we plant it at the right depth to keep the, uh, the bud union above the ground. And I'll show you that in a minute after we get through soaking our trees. Okay, we're out in the field. Our planting holes are dug. I did forget to mention back at the shop that when you get the trees in, you want to plant them as soon as possible, but keep them in a cool place. Uh, don't put them in a, a storage with apples or fruit in it. Um, a cool storage is good, but no apples or fruit. So we've already dug the holes with an auger here. Uh, if your holes uh, get glazed over on the side when you dig them, it's pretty sandy here, so they're not. You might want to just break the sides a little bit. Uh, make sure your hole's big enough to accommodate the root system. I like to add, oh, a couple pounds of pelletized lime to the planting hole. And the, uh, the backfill soil just gives them a little bit of a pH adjustment and some calcium. And then we have our tree here. And the tree gets placed in the middle of the planting hole um, with the graft union direction facing against the prevailing wind. In this case, we usually plant it to the, uh, to the northwest. And the most important thing here is to make sure you get your planting depth correct. And this graft union wants to be a, a good, solid hands width above the soil line when all is said and done and the trees fill. Sometimes I use a stick or a shovel to go across to judge my, oh, my soil line. But uh, basically put the, the tree in the middle of the planting hole, uh, backfill it around with your augered soil, keep the roots wet until you're ready to do this, there we go, okay and then I'm going to adjust this graft union height, so after I pack the soil in around the tree with my feet here, so that graft union height is a good solid four to five inches, four inches or so, a good hand width above the ground level, the soil level here, when it's all filled in. So that's about it. Get the trees planted early. Uh, keep the roots wet until you get them in the ground. Make sure the graft union is that hand width above the soil level. And finally, uh, if it's not going to rain soon, um, get some water on the trees. Water them in good and you should be all set. So, John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor. Perhaps next week we'll try and look at how to prune these trees after you get them in the ground. In the meantime, have a good week or two, and we'll talk to you later.